I snapped off one of the earpieces on my headphones at the Y joint, so I'm going to try and repair it. First you have to burn off the shellac from the wire, after I cut it open of course. If you've got a voltmeter you can check the continuity. Here I'm just sanding off any oxide or soot buildup from the burning. And I can test which part of the plug goes to which wire. And then using shrink wrap, I need a couple of bits of that on each cable because I'm going to use that later. It has to go on first. I'm just going to put my soldering iron in a grip so that I don't have to hold it because these are such fiddly small details that it's easier to have two hands. It's really difficult to get the solder to, to, to actually stick to the metal. So it's good having two hands. But each one where the shellac has been stripped off, they take a little bit of solder. And it's important not to take the shellac right off because it, it helps to insulate each wire from one another. So the point at which the bundle meets each other should have the shellac on it still. So you really just want to burn off the last end bit. Might be the last one. Six wires altogether. Because it's got the microphone as well, as the left and right earbud. Now once those have all been soldered up, I start to insulate each set of wires separately using the shrink shrink wrap. Now off camera I have to cut these down a little bit so that I can get should I need I needed to have two on each wire. Now once that one's in place I can put the next set of wires in between those two. So you see progressively it just build up the layers so each set of wires is insulated from the other. The last one just goes into the hot glue. This is a cool melt hot glue gun. Like the kind that florists use which is why I can handle it. Now you can have a little look at the diagram for which part of the jack does which function and that's for this is for ordinary headphones without the microphone and now some testing and this is another pair that once I've started finding once I found out I could repair them I've, I've actually spent all day repairing them I've done three or four pairs that's just testing that it works, the on and off switch. And that's the volume. That works. That's great. And now the microphone. Testing with a little recording program. There we go, all done.